Hi. One of the most important and impactful modifications you can make to your 3D printer is removing these horrible palm wheels and replacing them with linear rails. In a previous video, we replaced the palm wheels in this Sovel SV7 Plus printer with the Y-axis linear rail kit from TBS Tron 3D. And today, we're going to do the same for the X-axis with the soon-to-be-released TBS Tron 3D X-axis kit. Unlike the Y-axis mod, the X-axis linear rail kit is both easier and faster to install, plus the steps are identical for both the Sovel SV7 and the Sovel SV7 Plus. In fact, we've already installed the kit in our Plus model printer while preparing for this video. You can see that the palm wheels are gone and that the tool head travels smoothly, but there's still hard stops at each end of the gantry to ensure that the carriage can never fall off of the rail. So today, we'll be installing the kit in our standard model SV07 printer. Well, that's enough bloviating, it's time for modding. The kit from TBS Tron 3D, as you can probably guess, includes a linear rail. For the standard model, the rail is 315 millimeters long and has a single MGN9 carriage. For the plus model, the rail is 380 millimeters long with the same single MGN9 carriage. There is a long bracket used to attach the linear rail to the x-axis extrusion and a small bracket used to mount the tool head to the linear rail carriage. Four small bags of hardware are also included. Five M3 by eight millimeter flathead screws and five M3 T-nuts are used to secure the long bracket to the X-axis gantry. And then nine M3 by five millimeter socket head screws fasten the linear rail to the bracket. Four more M3 by five millimeter socket head screws Secure the small bracket to the linear rail carriage, while two M5 by 6 millimeter button head screws mount the tool head to the small bracket. Being a relatively simple mod, only a few tools are needed, including an 8 millimeter socket, two 2.5, 3, and 4 millimeter hex wrenches, side cutters, a small zip tie, potentially a small file, some masking tape, and a pen or pencil. Before we begin taking apart the printer, make sure your linear rail is properly cleaned and lubricated. We're not going to be covering these steps today, so if your linear rail is straight out of the package and still covered in the light oil used to prevent rusting, then hit that pause button and watch our earlier video where we prepare a bunch of linear rails. Step 1. Move the gantry about halfway up the Z-axis. Step two, remove any filament. Step three, shut down the printer's host. Step four, remove the PEI build surface to prevent it from getting damaged. Step five, turn off power. Step six, disconnect power for safety. Step seven, cut the zip tie securing the main cable using side cutters. Step 8. Disconnect the main cable. Step 9. Disconnect the auxiliary fan. Step 10. Remove the auxiliary fan using a 4mm hex wrench. Step 11. Remove the tool head using a 2mm hex wrench. Step 12, loosen the x-axis belt. Step 13, disconnect the x-axis belt. Step 14, remove the tool head by unscrewing the bottom palm wheel using an 8 millimeter socket and a 3 millimeter hex wrench. Step 15, remove the remaining palm wheel hardware with an 8 millimeter socket and a 3 millimeter hex wrench. Step 16, gently file any burrs or rough spots on the tool head bracket. Step 17, 
Install the five M3 by eight millimeter flathead screws and five M3 T nuts in the long bracket. Ensure the screws and nuts are as loose as possible. A two millimeter hex wrench might be helpful. Step 18, install the long bracket using a two millimeter hex wrench. This can be the most difficult step in the mod, but keep trying and the bracket will eventually fit into place. Try having the bracket at an angle when trying to get the first T-nuts into position. Also, when tightening the screws, go slow and try to feel if the T-nuts are rotating into position. Step 19. Use masking tape and a pen. Mark the rail mounting holes to make the next step easier. Step 20. Install the linear rail using 9 M3 by 5 mm socket head screws and a 2.5 mm hex wrench. Keep all of the screws loose until they are all in place. Then, to ensure the linear rail is straight, lightly and evenly push the rail towards the back of the printer and tighten all screws. Step 21. Install the small bracket using four M3 by five millimeter socket head screws and a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench. Step 22. Reattach the tool head bracket using two M5 by six millimeter button head screws and a three millimeter hex wrench. Step 23, reattach the x-axis belt. Step 24, tighten the x-axis belt. Step 25, reinstall the tool head using the four previously removed screws and a two millimeter hex wrench. Step 26. Reinstall the auxiliary fan using the two previously removed screws and a 4mm hex wrench. Step 27. Install a new zip tie. Step 28, reconnect the main cable. Step 29, tighten the new zip tie using side cutters to trim to length. Step 30, reconnect the auxiliary fan. Step 31, reinstall the PEI build surface. Step 32, reconnect power. The X-axis linear rail kit is now fully installed. I hope you found this to be a relatively easy and simple mod, but if you did encounter any issues or you have any questions, let us know in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. If you have a Sovol SV07 Plus printer, we've now installed both the X and Y linear rail kits, but fear not, if you have a standard SV07, because our Y-axis video for this model is right around the corner. After that, we'll be installing the Z-axis and diagonal brace kits on both printers. I'm sure you're not going to want to miss any of these videos, or the other exciting videos we have planned for the future. So make sure to like and subscribe, so you're one of the first people to know when one of these new videos gets released. And if you'd like to be a super supporter of us, or Bed Leveler 5000, come join us over at Patreon. Thanks for watching.